sickle cell. Now sickle cell is a genetic condition passed from the parents that affects the red blood cells. What actually happens is the red blood cells that are normally dis-shaped are turned into a sickle shape. Now people can have the trait which means only one parent is a carrier of the disease. Sickle cell is more common in people with a skin pigmentation. Sickle cell affects the haemoglobin in the red blood cells. And that's what carries the oxygen from the lungs to all parts of the body. Normal blood cells live for 120 days, but red blood cells containing sickle haemoglobin do not live this long, resulting in a chronic state of anemia. When sickle haemoglobin gives up its oxygen to the tissues, it sticks together to form long rods inside the red blood cells, making those cells very rigid and sickle-shaped. A child is born with it as it's passed down from their parents, so actually at the moment there is no cure. Now the initial sign that severe pain is coming is normally a thirst or a yellowing or jaundice of the eyes. And the sufferer will be irritable and very tired. However, it's not always easy to detect signs of sickle pain. So children who say they're in pain or having a problem must be trusted and treated. Symptoms can include pains in the arms, legs, back and stomach. And sometimes this is quite severe. Swelling occurring in the hands and feet and joints are also stiff and painful. Pain can be triggered by infections, thirst, dehydration, overexertion, excitement, cold weather, swimming, and also bumps and bruises. Most of the time a child will feel fine, but the anemia will make them feel very tired and also unwell. Sickle cell sufferers are at risk of developing severe infections. If this is the case, then a course of antibiotics is often necessary. Talk to the parent and carer before it becomes a problem for the best course of treatment for that child. Find out what that care plan is for that child. Painful episodes are sometimes called sickle cell crisis and pain relief doesn't work and sometimes they're going to need blood transfusions. With someone with sickle cell, always important to make sure you keep them warm and dry. Always avoid dehydration. Make sure you don't tire them out and avoid any sudden changes of temperature. Heating the body is really important along with rest, relaxation and breathing exercises. It's all about following that person's care plan and, and good communication with the parents and carers on what to do if they have a sickle cell crisis. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our important videos.